feels like it was just yesterday, when Trump got shot. We did everything we could, but it just wasn't enough to save him. But we can rebuild him. Stronger. Faster. And with a hell of a lot more guns. What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now last episode I asked you guys which unit you wanted to see enter the arena and the answers were pretty varied but a lot of people told me Trump and that really interests me because I think he's the only unit in the game that has a second ability outside of his regular attack. So today the orange agent himself is going to be entering a tournament against every other unit in tabs. Except they're not going to be 1v1s because that wouldn't be fair for every unit that's worth less or more than him really. So we're going to round off every battle to have a similar value to see just how well he does in the grand scheme of things. Trump versus Headbutter. That's a lot of Headbutters, Trump. You better get your ammo going. Oh, God. Dog pile. It's like a football game. Oh, my God. They're just rubbing their heads against him. He's still shooting, though. Oh, there's the wall. <laughs> does that... I don't know if that really does anything. Oh, the wall's going to crush people. Does the wall crush people? I actually have no idea if it does damage. He's doing work. Oh, no. Trump, you idiot. You got stuck in your own wall. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Trump to build a $15 billion wall and get his ass stuck in it. Oh my god, is he actually pulling this out? I think there's only a couple headbutters left. Trump victory! I can safely say I thought he lost this one already. Once he got his ass stuck in his own wall, I thought the headbutters were gonna find a soft spot. Trumpalump versus Vikings. Well, there's definitely less of them than the headbutters, but I don't know how good a wooden shield is going to be versus an M16, right? They also have hatchets, though. That's probably better than hitting people with a silly hat. Trump just doesn't seem to take a whole lot of damage. Oh, where'd he go? What? Did he just encase himself in his own wall? Oh, no, there he is. He buried himself under it. Blue victory! Trump really isn't taking into account where the walls are going to fall, and this time he pays for it Wile E. Coyote style. One Pump Trump versus Spear Thrower. The Spear Throwers don't have very good range, right? I think they do a whole lot of damage, but Trump's gonna get some shots off before they get into range. Oh God, he took down like 10 of them. Ooh, why do they always aim for the dick? Everything in this game aims for the dick more or less. Can he not fire anymore? Oh, that was insane. The spear throwers actually managed to pin Trump's arms to his body with the spears. He's unable to fire any more shots. It's genius. The Trumpster versus X-Men. They don't nearly have the numbers, but I think they have a lot more health. They probably do a whole lot more damage too, but I don't know if these bear pelts are really going to help them against M16 rounds. <laughs> they're getting in there though. Oh my God, they're way bigger. I had no idea. Look how big the X-Men are. They're like 10 feet tall. It's ridiculous. There's, their axes are also like 12 feet tall. You gotta aim, Trump. You're just, you're firing tracer rounds into the sky. What are you aiming for? <laughs> Use your walls and shoot the guys wearing bear pelts. The gymnasts wearing bear pelts, sorry. Right, only one left. There you go. <laughs> we preemptively judged Trump for firing off victory rounds before the round was over, but this Axeman seemed to be a lot more interested in the 2020 Olympics. Trumposaurus Rex versus Thieves. These cheap units come at such a number advantage. That's a whole lot of knives aimed square at your dick, Trump. You better get firing. <laughs> and not into the sky. Use your walls. He doesn't use his walls nearly enough, right? Look at all these. There you go. There's some distance. You gotta just figure yourself out. You don't want to shoot at your wall, man. You're gonna fall over. Does it kill people? I think the wall falling over does kill people. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Either way, doesn't kill enough people. The Trumpening versus Footman. Now everybody has been aiming for the dick, so I'm not really sure why the Footmen have decided to wear helmets. Then again, I also don't know if a bucket helmet is gonna do a whole lot against M16s. You're getting wrecked, Trump. The numbers aren't with you. <laughs> He's so overpriced. Trumpalumba Ding Dong versus Archers. 
Range versus range, but I get the feeling that or not. Wow, your accuracy might be the best here. That's saying a lot. He's making up the distance. He doesn't have a very far range. I'm just realizing now that I think the regular M16 is a little bit better equipped. They probably don't need to land a whole lot of arrows, though. Oh, oh, only a few left. Hey, well, looks like he can take down some range units. They're gonna be calling him old Swiss cheese sack from now on, but he's still a winner. Trumpelite versus Ballista. Yeah, don't blink, you're gonna miss this one. I'll see you later, Trump. See you in the next round. <laughs> God. The Ballista is hands down the best unit against single targets. It does 10,000 damage per bolt. It could kill two Trumps with one shot. The Donald versus Catapults. I don't know how well the Catapults are gonna fare though because usually their shots just kind of graze people. Ugh, yeah, grazed them right in the tits, but that's okay. It's, it's not okay. The Trumpiet versus Spearmen. I don't know how the Spearmen are gonna do. They seem to have a really hard time working with each other. <laughs> you guys gotta use the pointy ends of your sticks, not against each other. Push, push. I don't know who I'm cheering for in reality. It's just great seeing so many units get wrecked by a wall. Oh, if this falls down on all of them. Oh, did that kill all of those guys? The barbed wire doesn't seem to kill them. Holy crap, that wall just did work. They can't get their weapons out of the wall. It's genius. He's de-arming them and then shooting them down. Look at this. They, that was unreal. My lovely lady Trumps versus shield men. Are those wooden shields or metal shields? They might be metal shields, but I still don't think they're gonna do a whole lot of work. You're gonna have a lot of bonking to do. You better get to bonking him. No bonking. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I've run out of nicknames for Trump. I think my lovely lady Trumps was pushing the envelope. So let's just continue. Trump versus chariots. They're Christmassy. You can't chew Christmas, Trump. That's the one thing you can't take from everybody. Oh my God, they might run him off the world or not. Trump versus Taekwondo. There's a whole lot of roundhouse kicks coming straight for your head. Come to think of it, I think they're the only unit that don't aim for the ball sack. But uh, then again, they don't do a whole lot of aiming at all. <laughs> I feel like he's killing people in the back. Oh, there you go, there's the wall. So will the wall crush people? Because this is still something that I want to experiment. I want to see that it definitely crushes stuff. How are you guys doing down here? Oh, well, they're all alive, right? Look at them. You're, you're still alive. You're, you're not so alive. So maybe a little bit? We're gonna have to see once this dissipates. Are they gonna be able to get up from underneath it? Or does it dissipate? Maybe it stays around for the rest of the round and you can shoot through it. Oh, they're kind of squirming through. I don't understand these walls. Oh, there it goes. Okay, the wall is gone. And I feel like some people died. Oh my God, they're not dead. They're just stuck in the geometry. <laughs> you poor person. Look at this guy, is he alive? He's still alive! Somebody call a paramedic! Oh no, screw your paramedic, Trump's coming. He's laying down fire, no! He's the last one left, I believe in you! Oh no! <laughs> no prisoners. Trump versus Samurai. I think the Samurai are one of the most highly damaging melee units in the game, so it's gonna be interesting to see if they actually do anything, because a lot of units are closing the distance, but they never could kill him. Trump versus ninjas. I honestly feel bad saying that this one could go either way, but it honestly could. I mean, he is firing red hot pieces of metal out of these guns, but they're throwing giant pieces of metal straight at his face. Look at him, he's turning into a Christmas tree. And uh, they're not really affected by the wall. Ninjas just go around the wall. They might actually push him off the world too. Nope, they don't need to. I can't be 100% certain if it was a ninja star or Trump's own wall that finished him off, but either way, the ninjas get their target. Trump versus Huacha. This is gonna be another quick one. Oh no, some of the Huachas, oh, one of them killed themselves already. You gotta be kidding me. He got hit once in the ankle and then they're done. There aren't many units in this game that have worse accuracy than Trump, but we found one. Trump versus Samurai Master. The apprentices got the job done. I'm curious if the masters will be able to. Oh my God, that guy got lit up like a Christmas tree and he didn't even go down. What? Trump versus Ninja Master. 
Trump is used to fighting Hillary in this game, and she's just a reskinned ninja master, so I'm not sure how three are gonna do against him. And once again, the apprentices managed to take him down. Oh my god, they don't have quite as much accuracy, but uh, they definitely have the output. <laughs> He's not even gonna be able to lift his gun soon. They're gonna have so many ninja stars in them. Oh, there is just no way he's gonna get this. Not even close. Trump versus muskets. I think there might be a few people that would be interested in seeing Trump in front of a firing squad, so here's your wish. And he survived. Um, Trump, where'd your guns go, buddy? Oh boy. Well, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna go well for you. I'll give it up. He's got hurt. He's still charging into battle against the silly hats, even though uh, he lost both of his weapons. Just put him out of his misery, guys. This isn't even fun to watch. It's kind of fun to watch. Who's gonna be the lucky one to land the finishing shot? He keeps taking it in the chin and just getting back up. Just go down. It's over. It's not worth it. If anybody finds Trump's M16s, could you mail them back to the tournament? We're gonna need those. Trump versus barrel rollers. Best case scenario, this is a draw, but I don't think Trump is a draw kind of guy. He would sooner lose. <laughs> Not today, though. Trump versus cannon crew. I think the cannons could get it done. You know what? Those explosive shells do a lot of damage and they push him back. That's the biggest thing, if they land. <laughs> so they need to land their shots which they are, and then he's not gonna get any shots off. He doesn't even seem to know where he is. Trump, they're that way. Yeah, they're over there, where the loud noises are coming from. Don't worry about it. Trump versus peasants. That's a whole lot of peasants, Trump. You better get firing. <laughs> the Democrats are coming. Oh my God, the silly fists are here. <laughs> this is where the walls are gonna make the biggest difference, right? There's a wall. So if the wall comes down crashing on a bunch of heads, then he might stand a chance. Oh, they just went through it though. They know that the wall isn't actually happening, Trump. Oh my God, it's lagging so much. There's so many of them. Trump, you need to aim. You can't just shoot the ground. Oh my God, he got worked. One lone hero stands up for a nation. We're gonna call this peasant Bernie Sanders. Trump versus barbarians. There's not as many of them as there were peasants, but then again, it only took one peasant to whoop your ass. <laughs> if you cross your guns and shoot into the ground, you're never gonna kill anybody. Oh, you're getting bonked into oblivion. <laughs> That's a miserable wall. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> the people have spoken. He's still doing his best, but not enough. Trump versus farmers. Should be interesting to see how our previous tournament victors fare. Right now, I'm gonna say not very good. Trump is landing all of his shots, holy crap. You know what, he might have really taken those last losses to heart. Then again, it also looks like he's gonna take a lot of pitchforks to heart too. Trump versus boxers. Whole lot of gloves coming your way. Once again, you know, he starts off aiming really well. It seems like when they're far away, he does all right. When they get close up though, he crosses his guns and has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Shoots wildly into the sky and stuff like that. Like, oh, no, you know what? He had a good round. I think he, he's just, he's just peppering the crowd now. It's low blow. Trump versus Chicken Man Man. Two M16s versus two Chicken Man men. Are those lab coats bulletproof by any chance? Ooh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, mm, not bulletproof, not even a little bit. Trump versus M16s. It's technically six M16s versus two, but Trump is just not trained in how to use them. Look, if they're up in the sky, that, that's, not, that's not how you use it. You see, these guys don't have their guns up in the sky and they're winning by a lot. I don't even think they're gonna get a shot off. I think this is gonna be a perfect round. Oh, that was painful. Trump versus Super Boxers. If the Super Boxers get in, I'm gonna call it right now. They are gonna light him up. Look at the fists, fists of fury. <laughs> oh my God, he can't hit anything close to him, right? It's just, look at all these misses. Look at all the shots that are just flying past him. Oh, they're lingering though. They're stuck on a body. Guys, you gotta turn, you gotta fight, you gotta punch. They're dancing around him. They're mocking him before they punch him right in the kidneys. <laughs> oh my God, pin him against the wall. Brutal. Trump versus Chicken Man Man. How much damage do you do? Because I think you're gonna need a whole lot. Aim at the dick. That's what everybody else does, but the chickens are coming for you. 
<laughs> the chicken man man is so freaking cool, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough, right? Oh, okay, he's gonna wall off the chickens. Oh my God, I'm getting Attack on Titan vibes right now. That falls over, doesn't really do anything. He's stuck in the wall, he can't get out, he goes down. Trump versus Super Peasant. The Super Peasant just doesn't make any sense, right? I don't even know why I'm running this because it doesn't do anything. He's just gonna float up there and continuously get shot. But if they go off the edge, is he gonna survive? Nope. Trump versus the Dark Peasant. Who do you think is gonna have better range? Because that's what it's gonna come down to. <laughs> oh, it's, it's right in the middle. They might have the same range, right? He's spiking a few of them. He's spiking all of them. Final round, Trump versus Clinton. We've seen this play out before, both in and outside of tabs, and it is always a toss up. Will it be the deleted emails? Will it be the dual wielding M16s? He's not gonna use his walls, he only uses them against groups. Clinton takes it down! It's been the story of this entire arena challenge. The only thing that's crooked in this matchup is Trump's aim. And that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. How did Trump do? How do you feel about that? I think he did pretty well. His accuracy is a little hit or miss, but the walls are pretty effective against the masses. And as always, be sure to leave a like if you wanna see more and leave a comment with which unit you want to see next. We've already kind of done the Dark Peasant. We've now done Trump. Who else do you wanna see go through the gauntlet and face off against every Tabs unit? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.